Hi, I'm Sam Corbett. <coughs> Hi, I'm Sam Corbett, brewmaster and co-founder of the Sawdust City Brewing Company. Today we're going to be showing you how to pour a proper black and tan. Uh, this special collab we did with the guys at Third Moon uh, is something pretty awesome. We are going to take our or Orchard of Change Baltic Porter and their Defenestrated Egos uh, Hazy Double IPA and we're going to pour them together and create one awesome beer. Orchard of Change, like I said, was a Baltic Porter. It's really chocolate, vanilla, nice and silky smooth. And over here with the Defenestrated Egos, we have a beautiful, hazy, juicy, dank double IPA that when you pour them together, they're gonna to rest on top of each other and it's gonna produce one awesome looking beer. First, you're gonna to wanna to start with the base beer, which is the heavier beer. We're gonna start with the Defenestrated Egos. Heavy, so you make a nice billowy head. I want to go about halfway. So there you go, you let it set. And then we're going to take a spoon to help diffuse the next liquid over top of this. Now the gravity of our Orchard of Change is slightly lighter than the Defenestrated Egos. So it should sit right on top, creating a level because of the it's slightly less dense. The spoon just helps it diffuse across and slowly rests that beer on top. And you're left with this wonderful looking bi-level drink. There you go. Perfect split between the two. You got your black and tan. You can enjoy it like this. Or you can let it come together and you're gonna get yourself probably a pretty awesome black IPA resembling that. But uh, you're going to have the chocolate mixed in with those really dank, juicy notes of the double IPA and it's going to make for one fun drink. So it's two beers, one awesome collab, one final awesome beer, which is orchestrated chaos. <laughs>